Using Doppler in M mode, you'll use one of these three buttons here first. First thing we'll take a look at is the M mode. We'll push down M mode and it's going to give us a split screen here. So many are used to seeing it top and bottom. What you can do here is change your layout by clicking here to vertical or horizontal. You can change your sweep speed. The higher the number, the slower. The lower number, faster. And it's very inconsistent on this machine, uh, whether which high number or low number goes faster or slower. So just push it one way. If you don't like it, go the other way. So chroma, this is your chroma map. You can change your chroma map. This is your 2D M mode grayscale map. So you'll see up here on this gray map here, your grayscale. You'll see if I change this, it'll change it to a different red. It'll change it overall a different. You'll see how the, it adjusts this, the image there using a different 2D map. M gamma is your M mode. It's overall basic brightness of that image. For Doppler, press D. And here we can change the angle, push it down, and you can also get the angle correction here, and your angle will show right here. If I want to change the size of the gate, I'm going to hit enter and I'll increase or decrease the size of the gate. And when I'm ready to enter into pulse wave Doppler mode, I'm going to hit the update key. And here I have my live image. I can press menu here to change various parameters throughout this image. I'm going to hit exit. Here I have my baseline, my pulse repetition frequency to change my scale, and you'll see it changes along here. There. Wall filter for cleaning up the image. If I want to invert, it's invert the scale. Sweep speed, increase or decrease. And then of course you have your baseline to move it up and down. When we're going to go to color, go back to B, Hit C for color, and it enters right into color Doppler. The color works the same, very much the same as the pulse wave Doppler, except if I want to change the box, I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to change the size. So it says TBROI, saying the trackball is going to change the region of interest. I hit update again, and now I can change the position of the re region of interest box. And here we have controls for changing the frequency, wall filter, pulse repetition, frequency, persistence, and the baseline for my scale. We also have submenus here, changing the color map, inverting it, contrast, your steering angles down here to change the angle. I'm going to click, and I can steer that box appropriately. Hit it again, wall threshold, blood affection, how smooth do you want the color flow to be, uh, and, and other such controls like that. If I want to go back and adjust something on the 2D menu, I can now hit the change, and it's also going to give me the options here for uh, optimizing the B mode image. So I can go change, and these menus will go through. This is something that's consistent throughout when you go to measurements and annotations. To change the libraries, you can also hit this change, and we'll get to that in the, the annotations and measurements video.